Saturday, October 28th. The deer are starting to move. We've had five or six of them come by already. A couple little bucks and does. The front blew through last night. We're in the pinch. North wind. It's about 28 degrees with the wind. High pressure. Feels good. Hopefully we have some good luck this morning. We got acorns. We've got does.
Well, it's a little after nine o'clock and we have had non-stop movement for the last two hours. I think we've seen upwards of 30 deer, probably 20 does and fawns, and nine or 10 one and a half year old bucks, six or seven of which are spikes. So it's rather amazing to not see any racked bucks through here. But uh, it's fun to have so much activity. This is usually when it dies down, they kind of work their way slowly back into the bedding area. They've been feeding on these acorns around us just all morning. And the little bucks are just grunting and chasing and pushing deer around, so it's fun. I think now that a lot of deer are working their way back into the bedding area, I'll probably do a little bit of calling. Hopefully we get a mature buck to come through here. It's about 11 o'clock. We've seen a couple of does and a few turkeys since nine o'clock, so it's been pretty slow. Starting to get more east in the wind, which really isn't great for this setup. So we're gonna get packed up and get down. And we'll see you guys this afternoon. piece across the river from the river bottom farm. We've got a northeast wind tonight and I was weighing all the different options of where to go and uh, there's just nothing I really love over there for DK and so I decided to come make a sit out on this farm and uh, we'll be back in the pinch in the morning keep it fresh the wind's gonna switch back with some west in it so it'll work well. 
This farm, uh, to remind you guys, it's, it's 28 acres, 23 acres of it is CRP, and it was time to replant it. And so this year, we burned it, mowed it, sprayed it, planted it, and then have been doing establishment mowing every month. And so the CRP is all very short. We still get a, got our two acre bean plot here, which we had fenced all summer, so it's got a great amount of food. We came in here um, once they got mature and, and, and took the fence, lowered the fence down so the deer can have some food. We've, we topped it with some uh, overcast mixture from Monster Buck and got a little bit of leafy greens in there. We actually hunted this farm once so far this year, made a sit on the north end in the little pin oak set, had a nice sit, movement was kind of late, saw a three-year-old tin and a couple does and small bucks, but the main buck I'm interested in on this farm is a buck called Rocky. We filmed him twice, um, two years ago when I, when I kind of pegged him for a four-year-old, and then last year I had a few pictures of him, never saw him. This year, got pictures of him, uh, pretty late, just a few weeks back. And he's a great looking buck, great mass, just just awesome looking deer. Um, he doesn't spend a lot of time out here. I mean, he did quite a bit more when he was a four year old, but less so last year and this year. I'm gonna sit here when I can, just to, at the off chance we can encounter him. You know, we got these super cold temps, the high today is 45 degrees, pressure's through the roof, it's nice and cold. And um, it's just a day that he might show up looking for some does. And you know, e EHD has been ravaging this area. Uh, Caleb's farms are not too far from here, 30 minutes or so. We found a couple does dead along the river, and uh, I'm still getting pictures of the majority of our bucks, and we're still seeing lots of does on the river bottom, so I haven't been too worried about it. But um, neighbor up the road a couple miles found 10 or 20 dead, neighbor across the river found 10 or 20 dead, and I just talked to my neighbor to the, um, my, one of my other neighbors, and he found one of our really good bucks dead, and he's working on getting a salvage tag, but it's a buck I called Pincher. Um, this is our fourth year of history with him. Had picked some as a three-year-old. Rye, during his intern year when he was four, we filmed him in October, we filmed him late season, found his match set. Last year, had pictures of him. And he kind of made a move last year. He wasn't on the farm as much. And this year, I actually filmed him in velvet. Um, and he's just a mega, just a mega massive deer. And the neighbor found him dead this morning. So um, I've always felt like we were a little bit protected from EHD because we're so sandy. But um, you know, all these creeks and ditches, it's been super dry. We got that rain. We've been kind of theorizing as to what happened because this is really late for EHD. But a couple mud holes without any hard frost and that midge, that midge obviously has been hatching and it's it's crazy. The deer, they're dying. I mean, our DNR buddies are, they're, they're, people are calling in finding 50 to 100 deer. I mean, it's, it's terrible. We'll see how it shakes out. Pheasant season is open today. There's more boots on the ground. Shotgun seasons, you know, going to be in December. There's going to be some deer that turn up. But anyway, we're over here and we're going to sit back and enjoy the night. It's beautiful conditions and hopefully we have a good hunt. Well, that's a wrap for the evening. Ended up seeing two uh, does down along the tree line there and they just walked off to the north. Um, they seem to be interested in the cut beans more than anything. I could see out the back window across the field, seven or eight deer in that field, but nothing came into the standing beans here. Uh, neighbor is combining all the corn there to the south, so that's nice to see. It's uh, always good to get the crops out. It changes the dynamics quite a bit, but. Anyway, not quite the day we were hoping for today, but we'll be back after him tomorrow, and I think um, the wind's gonna set up nice. That I think I'm gonna go back in the pinch, and we're gonna keep hunting DK, and hopefully we can cross paths with him soon.